Dr. Jeff Kingsley, and I'd like to speak with you briefly about clinical research. Clinical research is an important process in medicine today. Researchers are continuously looking for new therapies, new devices to help patients. Participation in clinical trials is a very important link between that research and getting those new devices to the patients that need them, the new medicines to patients that need them. Anytime a physician is able to write a prescription, for example, that privilege only happened because of the research that took place in the past to approve that new medicine. Controlled clinical trials are a partnership and a commitment between the medical profession and volunteer patients to improve quality of life. This commitment is important because only with the full efforts of medical staff and patients can clinical research be successful. A trials protocol is the document that defines everything that's going to happen in the clinical research trial. Before any clinical trial can begin to enroll patients, the trials protocol must be approved by the Food and Drug Administration. The informed consent document provides all the necessary information concerning the trial for the patient. The progress of the trial is reviewed by an independent body called an Institutional Review Board or an Ethics Board. This is a committee of doctors and laypeople who make sure that the potential risks do not outweigh the potential benefits of the study. The FDA and the Ethics Board regulate the way clinical trials are advertised to make sure they're not misleading. Also, just like any other patient under a doctor's care, a patient in a clinical trial is protected by normal medical ethics and laws. Before agreeing to participate in the study, you should clearly understand the study. The research staff must explain the goals, possible benefits, and possible risks of the study to your satisfaction. You can check with your personal doctor who knows your medical history and can help you decide whether you should participate in a clinical trial. Your doctor also can be a source of information about the risks and benefits of the proposed treatments. You should have a good understanding of your current state of health. You will be told about the known side effects and other health risks of the treatments. It is always the goal of medical researchers to make clinical trials as safe as possible. It takes many people in medical research to make new medicines and therapies available. It's with medical research that we have the cardiac pacemaker, high cholesterol medicines, osteoporosis drugs, life-saving defibrillators. Everything that we use in medicine today has been researched to prove its value to you. On a final note, many people question why patients choose to participate in clinical research studies. There are many valid reasons. First, patients receive quality health care at no cost. Second, patients may have a condition that currently has no effective treatment and they're seeking one. Third, Patients may have undesirable side effects from their current medicines and are looking for a better alternative. Fourth, patients may have a family member who's suffered from a particular condition and want to help find a treatment or cure. Or finally, they may simply want to contribute to the future of medicine. If you choose to participate in medical research, you may receive some financial compensation. However, the primary potential benefit is to medical research and your health. If you're interested, please let us know. And thank you for taking the time to learn more about medical research.